With one eye on that worsening situation and another on the coming election, Johnson turns for support to an old friend and mentor, Senate Armed Services Chairman Richard Russell of Georgia. Uh, our position is deteriorating, and uh, it looks like the more we try to do for them, the less they're willing to do for themselves. It's, it's a hell of a hell of a situation. It's, it's a mess, and it's going to get worse. And I don't know. I don't know how what to do. I don't think the American people are, are quite ready for us to send our troops in there to do the fighting. And uh, if it came down to an option of just sending the Americans in there to uh, do the fighting, which will, of course, eventually into a, a ground war and a conventional war with China, if it got down to that or just pulling out, I'd, uh, I'd get out. But, I, but then I don't know. There's undoubtedly some middle ground somewhere. How important is it to us? It isn't important a damn bit with all this new... Missile. Well, I guess it's important to, uh, to uh, well, isn't it from, from a psychological standpoint. I mean, yes, and from the standpoint that we are party to a treaty, and if we don't pay attention to this treaty, well, I don't <laughs> guess they, pay, they think we're paying attention to any of them. Yeah, but we're the only one paying any attention to it. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't <laughs> think the people of the country know much about Vietnam, and I think they care a hell of a lot less. I know, but you go to send a whole lot of our boys out there. Yeah, that's right. That's else. exactly right. That's what I'm talking about. You get a few. We had 35 killed, and we got enough hell over 35 this year. The Republicans are going to make a political issue out of it. Every one of them, even well, Dirks. It's, right. it's the only issue they got. It's a tragic situation. It is, it, it's just one of those places where you can't win. Anything you do is wrong. Now, the whole question, as I see it, do we, uh, do, is it more dangerous for us to let things go as they're going now, deteriorating every day, I don't think we can let it go, Mr. President, indefinitely. Like then it would now. be we for us to move in. We either got to move in or move out. I, I That's about what it is. Your future. I, I, yeah, you can make a tremendous case for moving out. Well, it impeached President though that run out, wouldn't it? I oh, just don't I believe don't every it it, outside of Morris, everybody I talked to says you got to go in, including Hickenlooper, including all the Republicans. None of them disagreed with him yesterday when he made the statement that we had to stand. And I don't know how in the hell you're going to get out unless they tell you to get out. If we had a man running the government over that door to get out, we could show him. Oh, yeah, that's right, but you can't do that. Of course, you'd look pretty good, I guess, going in there with all the troops and sending them all in there. But uh, I'll tell you, it'll, it'll be the most expensive venture this country ever went into. I haven't got the nerve to do it, and uh, other, I don't see any you other way out of it. You don't have much sense to do it. That's I just can't wait. It's one of these things where heads I win, tails you lose.